Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market and uh, this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, February 24, 2021. So we're not on Etoro and the reason for that is because Etoro basically crashed and has been down for several hours today, which is an absolute complete scandal. And so I had to go over to uh, markets.com and um, use their platform. And uh, to be fairly honest, it's a really nice platform. You can get it in white and you can get it in black. And it has basically everything that uh, a platform needs in order to, to uh, do trading. Only problem with this, I don't really like their leverage um, system. And um, yes, that is a basically big minus for this platform. They should really fix that. But uh, we'll start by looking at uh, Bitcoin and overall you can just see all of the red here in the cryptocurrency market. Bitcoin is down uh, 12.75, doesn't sound like a lot, but still it also fell yesterday by roughly uh, the similar margin. So around uh, 10 to 12 percent yesterday, so 24 percent in, in um, two days. Uh, we're getting to 20 uh, the 2027 levels here where it fell by by 50 percent in only one week so i have been saying that for a really long time and uh, it looks like we are witnessing something similar so we can go back and look at um, the weekly not the weekly here yes it's weekly so uh, we need to go back to 2017 can to do that no, does not do that. So, no. Okay, can't go that, that far back. So, let's just look at the day. So, uh, yes, as you can see, we found support here at the 50 moving average, which is the red line here, 20 exponential moving average, the blue line here, and the Bollinger Band. Uh, MACD is here, Stochastic is here, and the uh, RSI is here. Technical indicators are looking dreadful for Bitcoin. Uh, we did the basically only positive thing we can say about this is that it found support at the 50 moving average. So 43, 40, uh, 43,919 is as low as this uh, probably will go at in the short term. However, if this continues, then we'll drop below the 50. As, the, as soon as we drop below 40, this will basically completely crash towards um, the, the bottom of the bullish band. And that's 28,000. And then we're basically in 2017 territory where it basically it will lose half of its value before bouncing back to probably 40 and then crashing again. That's basically what happened in 2000 and um, uh, 2017. And, um, and yes, this market is really volatile, but still we're still holding here at uh, at the 50 moving average. And as long as that is the case, we are in this uptrend and we will target 60,000 at this current stage so let's look at ethereum so um, also here we are trading for the first time for a very 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 long time underneath the 50 moving average so we went all the way down to 1458 before we found uh, support close to the 50 moving average technical indicators here are looking dreadful we are in the rsi for ethereum at 48 we're usually talking about the RSI numbers for, for these cryptocurrencies that are above 70 and up to 90 and so on. Now we're basically at the bottom. We're getting oversold, oversold territory. Uh, but also here we have fallen at uh, basically catastrophic fall from 1900 to uh, 1974 all the way down towards uh, 1307 yeah, or take uh, 1358. Trading at the moment of uh, 1535. Uh, and at this point, I don't think this is going to be the lows here. If this continues, if the MACD crosses below the zero here, we'll see this go all the way down to 1,000 before finding major support around, around this area. If that breaks, we'll fill this gap and we're heading back to uh, $600, $700, which we were back in December. So let's look at Cardano. Also here, we did fall quite drastically and we did not get to the 50 moving average we did pierce the 20 expansion moving average uh, right around here we're trading at 0 0.9322 and uh, at this point 
uh, if Bitcoin falls, if Ether, Ethereum falls and so on, this will also fall with it. This that's almost a guarantee. Technical indicators here are looking dreadful. Here we are already. We just started falling here in the RSI. We are 69, so this has a long way to go. If we break the 20 exponential, that opens to the 50, that's 0 0.68. Break below this, opens the door to 0 0.4. So yes, I, I hesitate to say that there's going to be any upside to this at this current stage. If we rally from here, then 1.2 will be our target. So let's look at uh, Litecoin. It's right here. Also here, a drastic drop from the highs here of the 241 all the way down to 160. So an absolute catastrophic fall for, for Litecoin. Uh, technical indicators are still uh, very bearish. MACD just crossed the, just crossing the signal line. Um, Stochastic is getting very well to the bottom here. And so is the RSI. So momentum is to the downside. We are actually trading underneath the 50 moving average at this point. Um, if we start get another candlestick right here, then the 50 will act as resistant, as not support. And this could drift us all the way down towards the lower part of the Bollinger Band. I think this area here should offer a lot of support, but we could drift all the way down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band at 105. So yes, at the moment, momentum is to the, the downside. So we can look at um, some other cryptocurrencies here. Yes, NEO is one that you usually take. So also here, we rallied towards uh, $55, and then we went all the way down to $30, $34. And just above the 50 moving average. Um, the technical indicators, very similar here. Uh, this is just falling apart, and this will also follow Bitcoin, Ethereum, and so on, the big uh, uh, cryptocurrencies. Technical indicators here are looking dreadful. There's a lot of room to the downside. We're only 57, so it was all the way up here at, uh, give or take, of around uh, 85 before we fell to the downside. Break below the 50 moving average opens the door to these previous highs here at $25, and then to $20, and then much lower down to to 10 14 dollars and so on so uh tron was the last one yes so probably this um, these lesser known and less valuable cryptocurrencies are going to take uh, absolute beating uh, compared to bitcoin for example um so tron went to 0 0.06 and then fell all the way down to 0 0.4 we're right at the 50 moving average, just at the 50 moving average. Technical indicators are still very negative. So we could see this it drop all the way down to these previous levels here at 0 0.0292 uh, before we find stability in this market. So yes, um, there is a lot of negativity here. Um, there probably will be some pullbacks tomorrow, but still those technical indicators for nearly every cryptocurrency is looking dreadful and uh, and yes expect downside for for the next few days so hope you found this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our new videos and you're welcome to join us over at patreon the link is down below good luck and thank you very much